I am not saying Hindu scripture is the word of God. Even if it was, it was meant for those people and for that time. The Hindu scholars agree that the scriptures have been changed. The Buddhist scholars agree that Buddhist scriptures have been changed. All the scholars of their own religion except Islam, they agree that the scriptures have gone changes down the line, down the ages. But even if I agree for sake of argument, it is the word of God. Even if it's, since the followers of that religion, they believe it to be the word of God, they should follow every letter, every word of the scripture. So if the Buddhists believe their scripture word of God, the Hindus believe their scripture to be the word of God, the Christians believe their scripture word of God, so all your scriptures are saying you have to follow the teachings of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So since you consider it to be the word of God, I say maybe it is, maybe it is not. Since you believe it to be the word of God, you have to follow it in your scriptures. So you have to believe in the last and final messenger. As I mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to say unto you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he hear shall he speak. He shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me. Who is this person? Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Was there any religious person who has glorified Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, besides Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? You rightly said that anyone who denies Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, will go to hell. You said. I agree with that statement. I agree. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And we have to say peace be upon him. You may say Jesus. I cannot say. I have to say peace be upon him. If I as a religious person, if I do not add peace be upon him I'll be kicked out a layman can do that I have to add peace be upon him so no Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ peace be upon him we believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention which many modern Christians do not believe we believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission we believe that he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission the Muslim and the Christians are going together. But I know what you mean. When you mean believe in Jesus Christ, you mean? What do you mean? Believe is God, correct? Can you on the microphone? When you say believe in Jesus Christ, means what? Believe is the prophet? I believe this statement that I am the way, the truth, and the life. What does it mean? It means that he is the incarnate God. Brother, as Follow this question. John chapter, the same. Chapter. I will give you the reference. I will give you the reference also, no problem. <laughs> what is the reference? John chapter 14, you can refer. Verse number. I have the Bible, I can tell you. John chapter 14, verse 16. So, not 16, verse number 6, it's not 16. Sorry, Mr. Nayak, you don't have to teach me Bible. You just tell whatever. Your misrepresentations will be answered in our sight. That's right. Brother, you are not quoting it. You have the Bible in your bag. Correct? You take out the Bible from your bag and you're quoting Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 6. It's not 16. <laughs> and you said that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he said that he was God. I'll come to your question. Before I come to your question, let me tell you one thing. I've read the Bible. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or where he says worship me. If any Christian can point out to me a single unequivocal statement, a single unambiguous statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me, I am ready to accept Christianity today. I am not speaking on behalf of my other Muslim brothers. I am putting my head on the guillotine. I am afraid of compared religion. You have read the Bible. Even I have studied the Bible. You say that I should not teach you the Bible. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Seek ye the truth and the truth shall free you. I will inshallah show you the truth and the truth shall free you today, inshallah. As I mentioned earlier, there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself says that I am God or where he says worship me. In fact, if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself says, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. He said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, 
chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devils with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20, I with the finger of God cast out devils. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30, I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge, and my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. Anyone who says, I seek not my will, the will of Almighty God, is a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon the Muslim. He never claimed divinity. It's clearly mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. It says that ye men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you, by wonders and miracles and signs, which God did by him, and you are witness to it. A man approved of God amongst you, by wonders and miracles and signs, which God did by him, and you are witness to it. So the Bible clearly said that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a man. He was one of the mightiest messengers of God, but not God. There is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God, or where he says, worship me. You quoted a verse to prove your point. From Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 6, which says, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto my Father, but through me. Now, this is again quoting out of context. People pick up verses from the Quran and quote out of context to malign. Similarly, Christian missionaries quote the Bible out of context. I want to tell you a truth to you. You can open the Bible, if you doubt me. Open the Bible. For the context, go to verse number 1. Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 1 says that, Why are you afraid? Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, If you have faith in God, have faith in me. In my father's mansion, there are many houses. And I'm going there to prepare a place for you. And when I go, I will tell you. So Thomas asked, where thou art going? He said, don't you know where I go? He said, no. Then he says, that show us the way, where thou goest. So then Jesus Christ, peace be upon replies, I am the way, the truth, and the life. When Thomas asks, Jesus Christ, peace be upon show us the way to God. Then Jesus Christ, peace be upon replies, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto thy father but through me. We agree at the time of the messenger. Every messenger was the way, the truth, and the life. No man came unto God but through the way of that messenger. At the time of Jesus, I agree with the Bible that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was the way, the truth, and the life. No man came unto Almighty God but through the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. At the time of Moses, Moses was the way, the truth, and the life. No man came unto Almighty God, but through the teachings of Moses, peace be upon him. But today, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, I have many things to say unto you. Further he says, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that he hears shall he speak. He shall show you things to come, he shall glorify me. At today's time, at today's time, the messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to Almighty God but through the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and final messenger, in today's age, irrespective whether a person is living in USA, in Canada, in UK, in India, in Saudi Arabia, any part of the world, for every human being today, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the way the truth and the life. No man cometh unto Almighty God but through the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And this is what all the major scriptures say, including the Bible. So hope now you have been enlightened to the truth and hope, inshallah, you will come to the truth and truth shall free you. Now the question will come from the sister's section. If any non-Muslim sister is there, please Come to the mic and ask her the question.